everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I decided to go back to last year and start redoing my looking at new makeup releases. I haven't done this in such a long time. I just think it's quite fun to look at new things together because I do not have the money to keep testing and trying all these new things because like new products come out quite a lot. The best I can do is to look at them with you and that's also equally as exciting I think. So we are going to look at the January releases. Now of course that means some Valentine's stuff because that is coming up really soon. But before we begin I would appreciate if you would consider subscribing. I do post every single week and I would also appreciate if you would like this video. If you're really into makeup it really does support this channel. Let's jump straight into looking at the new makeup. The first makeup collection we you're going to be looking at is the Colourpop and Twilight collection. I did not think I was going to be seeing anything Twilight related in 2024 but here we are and when I was looking at this my first thoughts is a bit disappointing I would say. A lot of other people have also said the same and some people who I chat to have also said the same. I mean Twilight is literally all about vampires and there's not a single red shade on that palette you would have thought there was at least something red i know that they had a red lipstick i believe that was kind of like their advertising point which kind of confused me because it just made me think of pretty little liars rather than twilight but artistic choice i'll give them that it's not to say that the products look bad at all it's just I understand some of the color choices and they do look absolutely lovely but for twilight I'm just slightly confused like the cool tones I love the shimmers look gorgeous especially that deep green shimmer shade right in the center I think that is absolutely lovely but come on you know so i don't know if you can see right here it says the lip oils which is 11 dollars each there is a vampy black and red which is what they were advertising which i was saying before that look like pretty little light is that did look really really nice and then of course you've got the shock shadows right here i thought the dry oil was quite a uh, fun touch because you know Edward sparkles in the sunlight so <laughs> i think that was a really really good one these kind of similar to the dry oil but I, i'm not sure if they'll perform as pigmented i don't know i'm just looking at them they, they don't look like they're going to be pigmented and i do like the color of them so i just i'll have to see how the swatches turn out i haven't seen many swatches but yeah the eyeshadow palette does look quite good and obviously the lip oil we just said saying that though it does not look as dark on this swatch i thought it was more of a dark like a deep blood red but it's, it's not. I am slightly confused, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was a deep red. That's a pink. Yeah, the other thing are these liners. I believe these are the graphic liners. I think they're absolutely stunning. They remind me of the Glisten Duochrome wet liners, which are just gorgeous. So overall, I think it was a bit of a hit and miss with this collection. As I said, not necessarily because of the quality, although I'm not sure about majority of the products but the lip oil i thought it was a deep red as they showed in their promo this liner looks lovely yeah i'm just a bit of a mirror for this collection the next collection i'm going to be talking about with you is also a bit disappointing i think it looks so cute and if i had the money i would probably look at getting this but because of the money this is being sold for, I'd say definitely not. This is the Disney and Spectrum Collections Lady and the Tramp. 
I like to say this is for Valentine's Day because you know the robots between Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, looking at it, I think it's really, really lovely. The bag looks absolutely cute, and their little powder puffs are quite adorable. I think they could have done more with the powder puffs. They always have a bit of a eh with powder puffs with Spectrum. It's like what I said with the Halloween Nightmare Before Christmas. There's so much more they could have done with it. For how much these are being sold for, I think they could definitely done more with it so i don't think pricing is an issue this whole collection sells for 110 dollars which is mad but what's even mad are the individual prices so like the makeup set you see on the top right that is supposed to be 79 dollars that is absolutely insane just for eight makeup brushes they don't look the greatest of quality but of course it's just in pictures i haven't felt the bristles nothing but still i don't know if i could justify eight makeup brushes for 79 dollars i just that's just get real technique brushes at that point honestly they last so long i'm still using real technique brushes that i got myself when i was like 14 they last and they're a lot cheaper so you know whatever the makeup bag is 39 dollars again i can't understand the pricing for the makeup bag of course not sure how big it is it could be absolutely tiny for all i know it could be small enough to fit all of the makeup brushes in you just you don't know i just feel like there's so much money this is a, another one from Colourpop and this is their Valentine's collection for this year. Of course it's limited edition so if there's anything that interests you I'd say run for it straight away. I quite like this collection this year. I have never tried anything Colourpop just because it's quite hard because I believe they're based in America so when I tried to get things before like there was a Tinkerbell palette I thought was so adorable. Grogu one I was really really tempted to get. And of course, when they came out with the Animal Crossing collaboration, I was so close. I was in my basket. But then when I saw the tax added on and the other things, it was just, it was £20 dearer. So I was like, nah it's not very accessible in the uk the palette is absolutely gorgeous looking at the different shades obviously it is valentine's and you get your pinks and your red tones they did very very well in providing a variety of shades it must be really hard with things like valentine's you're limited to certain colors but i feel like they kind of went around it very very well like they still have their light shades that aren't really pink like they're more peachy the shimmers just i'm so in love with shimmers lately and i never used to be but those shimmers look so nice and they all mesh well together as well the one thing about this collection is the lip and cheek balm things which i don't know if you can see they're the love heart what would you call them love heart components maybe i think that's the word they are a balm so it's not creamy nor powdery and i get a bit nervous and i did see looking in the comments other people were also very very hesitant about them because apparently colourpop balmy things have a tendency to lift up your foundation and stuff that you've already applied and already i'm never really sure about balms because i feel like it just goes everywhere i'm not sure it could ever stay in place and also i don't think it would really feel nice but I've, as i said i've never used it so i don't know there was one thing that i saw that other people mentioned and if you blink for one second doesn't that look very very similar so this is from a brand called half caked makeup i'm not necessarily sure how long they've been doing this component for but again absolutely similar and you could say that hearts are just something that a lot of people like it's a very common thing to do even the names are quite similar not necessarily the font but like positions and then your mirrors and they're both balms i believe so they're so so similar yeah i don't know what went on there but as i said it's valentine's hearts are very common like if you don't have a heart then it's like is it even valentine's so you know i'm not i'm not sure what's going on there the glosses at the bottom they're all quite the same as i said the pinks and like the reds and they're quite glittery and i thought they did look really nice and the jelly eye 
shadow things are oh, just generic, you know, Colourpop with their pearls and their, you know, champagne colours. That's just normal Colourpop, really. The next one I wanted to talk about is this e.l.f. lip product. Now, this is called the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. Now, I'm not sure if this is meant to be like an actual lip plumper or if it's saying plump as in like, you know lip description because some people do that like some companies do that when i first looked at it the first immediate thing i thought of was nyx it's the same as what i just showed you with the color pop components they are exactly the same they are both a sheer stick lip product and you click it to pump up the product of course the packaging is completely different between the brands but they are the same the next one are 11 dollars there is 12 shades whereas this one obviously does not have as much colors as the next ones but they are two dollars not two dollars on my own they are a couple dollars cheaper at eight dollars they do look quite Alright, I've not seen anyone swatch these. I've seen the NYX ones because I'm a big follower of NYX. I love NYX. I know they come up quite nice. I've had some Emmy Way Satin Sheen lip ones and they are really lovely. So I'm just assuming they're all going to be quite similar to that. Very, very nourishing. If you haven't tried one of those before, I do really recommend it. But yeah, I wonder if there's much difference in formula or how it feels but yeah as i said there are much more options for the nyx version of this product and what i found quite funny is that nyx commented this which i mean yeah fair enough it's quite funny <laughs> i don't think brands ever know what their lettuces are gonna put out nyx and elf are both very popular for creating dupes for more expensive higher end makeup so them both coming out with <laughs> this product is quite actually it's very amusing really i flipped to the other side for this last makeup release just because you can see it better so that's why i'm over here i may look different i flipped my camera <laughs> this last one is the beauty bay eyeshadow palette it's a new one this one is called reckless romance it is 20 shades with a mixture of mattes and shimmers i have been an avid lover of beauty bay eyeshadows i have their older beauty bay eyn bright palette i believe i'll post a picture somewhere yeah i have the older packaging of that and that performs so well it has lasted me a very very long time i believe i bought that maybe coming up to five years and i've not hit pan on any of the colors and i do use the colors a lot especially in my looks and i've been more colorful lately i do use that palette to filth near enough every single color is just amazing shimmers are really lovely i'm quite excited for this palette i think if i were to come across it maybe when it's on a bit of a deal um, because it is 22 dollars and of course that's really really good for a palette and i know beauty pay formulas perform really well i might pick this up in the future who knows i might make a video on it but yeah as i said this is their valentine's collection for this year i say collection so valentine's product for this year the colors look like they go together very well i'd say i'm a bit confused on the placing of the shades i love if they were to rearrange it a bit because I, I don't know i'm a bit put off with all the darker tones and lighter tones mixed together but yeah i don't think it would be too hard to wrap my head around i really think this is such a lovely palette definitely looking to get this in the future so that was my quick little look at all of the new releases for january there was quite a lot going on we had a bit of a few battles between brands like elf and nyx and then Colourpop and the half cake i think it was makeup their name was it was my first time seeing it so that's why i can't really remember their name but yeah valentine's is always an exciting period of time for products to be launched i'm excited to see what comes out next month let me know if you're thinking of picking anything up as usual all of the pictures i looked at today were from trend mood so i will link their account down below for you and apart from that i will see you in the next video Bye.